Hi everyone, it's a honor to introduce you Dr. Karthikeyan, who scored a fantastic rank of 43 in the NEET PG 2019. Hi Karthi. Hi sir. And uh, how do you feel right now? Sir, uh, this is one like of It's a double digit rank, isn't yeah, it? So sir. many people actually dream a lot of getting, I mean, uh, by, uh, to get this rank of, yes, sir. I mean, within a double digit. So yes, how do you feel that? Sir, uh, this is one of the most uh, proud moment in my life, sir. Actually, I, uh, I was one of the hundreds who took a selfie among with you uh, <laughs> after the end of your lectures, sir. And I, I never even dreamt of uh, uh, answering an interview with you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And uh, it's a honor for me also because, you know, like students like you give a lot of, you know, like inspiration to teachers as well. Yes. Because ultimately what a teacher needs is a good student yeah. you know, like, and a good rank from the yes. student. So, that's what we are, we, we, we also get inspired from. Yes. And uh, anyway, so let us come to your preparation. Yes. So, uh, how did you prepare? So, which college did you do your UG in? So, I did my UG in uh, Melmarutu Radhi Prashakti Institute of Medical Sciences. Okay, in Chennai. Okay. Uh -huh. So, like, how to go about the preparation? So, what did you have in your mind and when did you start your preparation? Yes, sir. Uh, as I am a student from a private medical college, uh, we need to spend some amount of money in uh, my preparation uh, UG stage, sir. So, there always existed a need for me to prove myself and come up with a good rank in at least in a uh, PG government medical college, sir. So, with that uh, aim, I started my preparation uh, just in the internship status. Sir. In the internship yes, status? Sir. Okay. So, you started by your previous time, first time in the internship? Yes, sir. So, did you attend the, you know, like your NEET exam during the internship? Yes, sir, I attended, sir. Uh, but I, I was not uh, that much uh, um, more uh, confident uh, confident uh, in preparing in, during internship, sir. I was just, uh, my aim was just to attend some lectures during my internships and take notes with that. And then I, I, I was sure enough to go to the next uh, attempt in, the, in my next year, sir. Okay. So, you attended all the lectures or you attended any uh, specific lectures during the internship? No, sir. Uh, Prime Institute actually shown uh, three lectures, sir. Uh, pharmacology, sir. And your medicine lectures and surgery lectures I attended, sir. These three lectures you attended during yes, the internship uh -huh. itself? And it added a value to your... Yes, sir. Surely, sir. Okay. And I was uh, greedy to fetch more and more notes from uh, many faculties, sir. Okay. Okay, so once you completed your internship, yes. Uh, so what was your idea? So what was the preparation strategy once you completed internship? Because during internship you told to attend classes and yes. to get the basics right. Uh, yes. So that is what your idea during the internship. Yes, and uh, once you complete internship, mm. what was your preparation strategy? Sir, uh, actually um, knowing about more about uh, concepts, reading standard books, we can keep till our final years and, uh, and, and also till our internship. Internship sir. also. When the calendar strikes March or April, it, it's time to start our uh, PG preparations with the mindset to crack MCQs. Sir. With the crack, with yes. aim to crack M MCQs. MCQs sir. So, how did you go about the MCQ? So, you prepared from like you know you have the test series thing yes, or sir. you you went with the standard guidebooks or a combination of both? Uh, a combination of both sir. So, you took test series also? Yes sir, I, I was, um, my aim was to re, uh, read the concepts uh, till the um, uh, some uh, September, till the end of uh, month mm -hmm. of September mm -hmm. sir. And actually I gave a mock test, at the, a grant test at the end of uh, September sir. So, in that grant test I knew where I stood and I actually got uh, less, uh, less marks, sir. Mm. Uh, just uh, and not only you, are, as far as I know, a yes, lot sir. of people do tell that they got very low rank uh, in their mock test. Yes, sir. And did it make you feel low or uh, did you boost, did it boost you up? Sir, actually I knew that I am going to score low, but my aim was just to focus on the areas where I went wrong, sir. Actually, uh, for me, uh, my weakest areas will be some uh, three or more subjects, sir. So, my aim was to strengthen those subjects not to worry about those ranks and uh, uh, marks sir. and my aim was to keep keep on improving with each and each and every grant test sir. with each and every grant test yes, it's, it's better to improve ah, yes. and uh, what 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 might be your strategy to the maybe if the strategy differs from everyone yes, sir. with everyone so what will be your strategy like what subjects to concentrate initially yes, sir. what subjects to concentrate later or you just take it like what all your, you get the classes like that or you had any special strategy these subjects I should prepare in the beginning and these subjects I have to keep it at the end or anything like that or a combination of subjects which you did all the time. Okay sir. Uh, sir actually I went through the uh, question papers 
ஆஃப்டர் ஃபினிஷிங் மை ப்ரிப்ரேஷன்ஸ் அப் டு ஃபஸ்ட் ரீடிங் ஐ டென்ட் ஹாவ் எனி ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் எனி சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் வென்ட் ஆன் ஆஸ் வித் த கிளாஸஸ் வித் ஆஃப் மை இன்ஸ்டியூட்ஸு அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் ஃபினிஷிங் த ஃபஸ்ட் ரீடிங் ஐ வென் த்ரூ த கொஷின் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த இன்ஸ்டியூட் இன்ஸ்டியூட் கொஷின்ஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் நீட் கொஷின்ஸ் So, so in you the went along with the subjects which is taught in the institute. Ah, yes sir. So same thing, you went along with the subjects yeah. and you start, your preparation was in synchrony with that. Yes sir. Okay. So, you know like, do you subject, I mean, uh, what, what is the importance of, because many people do ask this question to me. Firstly, what are the importance of short subjects? Sir, uh, short subjects? Like skin, radio, anesthesia, psychiatry, yes, also sir. ENT, ophthalmo, like what are the importance of these short subjects and how much do they score? sir uh, i consider these short subjects are uh, as uh, short short questions in our uh, mm. entrance exams exactly because uh, if we consider clinical questions it is a cat on the wall questions it may go in the right way either or, way uh, yeah. sir but uh, in these type of short subjects there there is a possibility to score 100% right in the right way sir yeah so i was uh, so it's like uh, hit and run yes sir, no? sir yes sir that's all yes. okay So, so you think the short subjects are very high scoring area yes, and yeah, one has to concentrate much on short subjects. Yes, so that's what my take is, you wanted to prepare short subjects first mm. or uh, you wanted to keep it, you know, like a later. Uh, I, I kept in the, along with the subjects they subjects taught in the, they taught in the yes. class. So yes. you kept in line with the subjects that they have taught in the class so that you went in synchronous yes. with it. So you told me. And I, uh, what I thought was, I was, uh, three institute exams will be coming in the month of november mm. Mm. so uh, we can't focus on all the three and okay. uh, leave behind uh, our ranks so i thought what i thought was uh, to focus on any one of those three okay and uh, build concepts and review questions on those and see the topics where those questions were asked and uh, to build strong uh, um, concepts on these in those topics in those actually topics. i focused on uh, pg chandigarh uh, pattern exactly. type of questions pattern because they actually give you more knowledge yes, than sir. you know like uh, that was experience. more challenging to attend sir. and you need a lot of you know like concepts to crack those yes, pg sir. questions because it's multiple yes, sir. and uh, you need to be very highly conceptual to yes, answer those yes, questions sir. and uh, did you crack all the institute exams so actually i got uh, some good ranks in those three exams sir but i couldn't get a gr- dream seat of my choice in those three institutes so what is a dream seat then sir uh, it was a uh, it was fight between general md general medicine or uh, md pediatrics sir md pediatrics so both are medical fields yes, and uh, anyway hope your confusion gets clear and is there any special reason why do you choose these two subjects sir actually uh, i was uh, in my pre final year i started reading harrison sir so that was my starting source starting source to develop interest in those okay fields. okay my pediatrics you know like uh, uh, i was fond of uh, uh, well uh, okay sir. you are fond of okay i don't want to throw me more into that so your confusion was now between md general medicine and md pediatrics yes. so anyway anyway i mean definitely anyway you are going yeah. to get in any college of your uh, you know like interest yes. with your rank of 43 so we don't have anyway let me know after the after you choose your dream branch so karthi uh, do you want to tell anything special you know like uh, your advice piece of advice to the students who are going to appear for the next upcoming neat exam yes sir uh, actually if we consider any entrance exams uh, 70% of the questions will be from your basic notes or basic concepts um so uh, i recommend to read you uh, uh, read uh, your notes twice or thrice before your exams revision helps you more uh, instead of running behind those updates these updates just constitute uh, 1 to 2% of your questions actually in the reason neat pg uh, i i didn't even think uh, um, one or two question appeared in the in the update session so it's better to revise your notes and uh, give your neat without uh, any yeah so what you are trying to tell is up- update should not constitute you know like a main stream of your preparation yes. so your all your main stream of your preparation should be your concepts mm. and your basic ideas yes. of the subject so that's what it is so you think the basic ideas of the subject when did you got this basic ideas having said about the basic idea about each and every subject yes. you had inherent uh you know like uh, understanding of this basic idea subject by by the time of the ug preparation itself or you are a well reader during the ug preparation itself sir uh, i did some of my um, preparation in my ug sir not much to do in my ug okay, i started as you said a, your real you know like uh, understanding and preparation started yes, from the internship during the internship yes. 
like how about the clinical posting so what about the take on the clinical postings because many you got usually to talk us i ask this because uh, many of the students i meet there are varied thoughts on that because many of the students do not attend their clinical postings basically so attending the clinical postings during the final year or pre final year or an internship do you think they are helpful because now the exam is more clinical so do you think they are now helpful or do you think they are not at all helpful uh sir uh, i am actually guilty to answer this question i actually bunked my ophthalmology like uh, postings to attend your medicine classes uh, no, actually i was critical on that as well yes, isn't it so uh, i was actually commented on that on that my lecture session yeah i used to sit on the left corner yes, sir. on the uh, on my left corner yeah i remember that so no, apart from that so yes. do you think your internship clinical postings which you have learned maybe your post graduates or yes. your professors would have taught you so many things so do you think that helps you uh, yes, in your exams uh, it drives a lot in uh, answering the clinical management of uh, questions yeah because the same thing uh, they are we are going to ask some same yeah. basics so do you do you think that clinical attending clinical yes, postings and uh, will help you in answering this yes, clinical sir. sort of thing? because this need now a lot of questions has become more clinical clinical and clinical oriented and more image based and i recommend your lectures to be attended by every uh, graduate you no know, like thing is no like <laughs> Like sir, anyway, uh, that uh, algorithm you developed for uh, Brady arrhythmias and Tachy arrhythmias, those were amazing, sir. It was easy to crack MCQs on those uh, arrhythmias. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Karthi. Yes, and uh, final word, like, what was your take on the last two months of preparation? Sir, uh, last two months of preparation, actually, I as it didn't get my dream course, uh, it was a bit uh, tough to travel these two months of preparation. Uh, and i thought that uh, instead of uh, uh, reading books and uh, i did lot of mcqs in the last uh, one month okay mcqs are actually uh, framed the and a like big uh, uh, thing i did was in uh, before my aims was i didn't have a good sleep before my aims exams so i went there and uh, first off. first one and a half hours it was just active sir and then i just dozed off sir so i i i was felt for that sir. so i had a good sleep before my neat and okay so you are such a definitely a very good sleep is yes, essential before the neat exam yes, and uh, what is the take on the you know like mcq so i think you tell the mcq from the main frame of yes, preparation sir. of any entrance uh-huh. examination isn't it so because many people forget to read the mcq mm-hmm. that's what i felt yes, most of the time so even like many of the uh, students who didn't get score mm-hmm. a very good rank so what they are, i mean whenever they i talk to them as well so what they really tell is they didn't concentrate much on mcqs yes, so you try to solve all almost all the mcqs yes, isn't it so how many years mcqs do you recommend so to solve because it's not it's humanly impossible to solve 20 or 25 years yes, mcq so how many years minimum is your recommendation to solve the mcqs sir a uh, minimum of the last 3 years question papers is more than sufficient to analyze the exams analyze the exams and it will be easy for you to uh, go on for the second revision go on for the second revision with those topics in mind with those topics in mind yes. because there is going to be a lot of repetition from the concepts yes, asked sir. in those mcqs uh, rather than the exact mcqs yes, the sir. concepts are topics asked. will be repeated sir top topics and the concepts uh, will be repeated yes. so that's what your idea is so fine so and uh, really thank you very much karthi and we wish you all the very best and uh, please choose internal medicine versus pediatrics very fast yes, and because your counseling is going to approach and it's not about the college you're going to get it's about the course. course which you're going to choose and we wish you all the very best and as a part of team prime we are extremely happy and uh, we wish you all the very best for your future thanks thank you karthi thanks a lot sir.